the Devil Tree and Dentistry, an evening of one act comedies. It's a new show playing at the Alchemist Theater in Bayview. It features several wacky scenarios played out over the course of a single evening in seven short comedic plays. And co writer Jason Powell and actress Mara McGee join us now to talk a little bit about it. Thanks to both of you for being here. You're welcome. Again, it was seven, Jason? That's right, yeah. And you, did you write all of these, or I know you have some uh, a co writer as well? Yeah, Doug, Doug Jarecki, and I co wrote, co -wrote uh, six of them, and the seventh one is, is all Doug. So. How, how do you guys do that when you when you sit down and co-write? Do you just sit there and kind of, especially comedies, do you have these scenes in your mind and you just sort of go back and forth? It must be a blast. It is. Yeah, it's always fun. These uh, were all written for, um, um, it's a certain form of theater where you get um, a suggestion for a location and then a, a situation, and then you have to write overnight. Um, I'm not sure where that originated, but there are a couple places in mm -hmm. Milwaukee that do that. Um, Jim Fletcher does a combat theater, Patrick Schmitz does sure. uh, Sketch 22. So these are all written for that, so um, it's fun to co-write anyway, but when you're doing it overnight, you start at like 10, and 10 at night <laughs> and write until about three in the morning. When your best work is done, right? <laughs> of kind course, of, right? <laughs> right yeah. Mara, you are in a number of these uh, mm -hmm. scenes. Tell us a little bit about a, a couple of them that you want to highlight. Uh, some of the good ones, all of them are good ones. <laughs> of course, right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of my favorites is uh, Emotional Baggage, which in features the entire cast. Um, and I play a small role in that one, and it's about a couple that have uh, passive-aggressive issues. Um, another one of my favorites is uh, The Problem with Notre Dames, and I play an Esmeralda-like character, and there's uh, Quasimodo in there, and um, it's just about the relationship. It's married life after Quasimodo and Esmeralda get together, and it's hilarity ensues and all that. Hilarity ensues. Yes. <laughs> is it, you know, when I was reading through uh, you know, kind of how it all works, I mean, Saturday Night Live came to mind, or various sketch comedy sort of things, mm -hmm. is it, is it uh, that kind of genre, would you say? It's not improvised. It is all written, mm -hmm. so um, it is kind of thrown together. Mm -hmm. So it does kind of have that feel to it. There is a little bit of improv that does happen because not everyone is the best at memorizing lines all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that must drive you nuts, Jason. I mean, you sit there and you, know, you write this beautiful piece. Right. Yes, you spent two, two, two whole hours writing this. Two whole hours in the middle of the night writing <laughs> yeah, this. No. But it, it must be a blast then. Uh, now, do you direct this as well? Uh, we get, we you know we had a, a friend of ours named Katie Cummings uh, come in and direct. Since Doug and I are both actors in in the pieces, we sort of felt it, it would be very difficult to to direct. Uh, obviously, also. there's some people who do that, but we right. kind of thought, well, let's uh, Somebody let's get a fresh set of eyes in there. Tighten you guys up as well. Well, the show runs yeah. this weekend. It's next at the uh, Alchemist Theater in Bayview. We do have more information up on our website at tmj4.com. We set up a link to your website there so people can get all the ticket information mm -hmm. right there. Thank you. Thanks so much for being here, you guys. Wet start to the day.